It is impossible to foresee all situations and combinations when unloading or setting up the unit. Owners and operators must establish criteria for stable unloading and operation of the unit based on actual conditions, work procedures, and experience. Once you arrive at the job site, you must make sure the work site is surveyed for hazards such as insufficient supporting surfaces such as soft ground or tamped earth fills, ditches, excessive slopes, drop-offs, curbs, and floor obstructions, debris, overhead obstructions and electrical conductors, weather conditions, presence of unauthorized persons, road or worksite traffic, subsurface chambers such as underground utility components or septic systems, hazardous locations and environments. This video will cover the basic inspection items. There are components installed on the unit that require additional inspection. If discrepancies are found during the pre-operational inspection or unit operation, have them corrected before placing the unit in service. Altec has service center locations throughout the United States and Canada as well as an extensive mobile service group. To schedule service or to learn more about our comprehensive service and support organization, visit altec.com service or call us at 877-GO-ALTEC. Inspect the unit's safety decals and instructional placards to ensure they are in place and legible. Replacement manuals and safety decals are available by calling 1-877-GO-ALTEC. Complete a trailer inspection in accordance with the trailer manufacturer's specifications, DOT guidelines, and your employer's rules. Conduct a visual pre-trip inspection of the unit before moving to the worksite. Check the trailer tire pressure, all tie-downs and safety chains to make sure the unit is secure for travel. The trailer must remain hitched to the tow vehicle while unloading or loading the unit. Prior to each shift, before beginning your work or after maintenance has been performed, you should conduct a pre-operational check as outlined in the operator's manual, which can be found in the storage box on the trailer. With the engine off, perform your pre-operational check. Check of the unit includes, at a minimum, checking the oil level in the hydraulic reservoir, conducting a visual inspection of the unit itself for any leaks or loose or damaged components, paying particular attention to boom structures, pins, fasteners, and welds along with hydraulic cylinders, hoses, and tubes. Inspect all covers to make sure they are in place, secure, and in good condition. Also inspect the winch line shiv retaining pin and lifting attachments for signs of wear or damage. Make sure the winch line has proper wrapping on the drum. Inspect the track and track drive components for wear and damage. Never use your hand or any part of your body to check for leaks on a pressurized system. The fluid can become injected under the skin causing severe injury. And if this happens, seek medical attention immediately. Check exposed electrical systems for signs of damage, dirt, and moisture accumulation. Inspect the boom for damage, to include chips and gouges. Look for dirt, moisture, and foreign objects. Refer to the manual for proper cleaning methods. Ensure all control functions are clearly marked. After arriving at the job site, park the tow vehicle and trailer on a level surface. Apply the parking brake and chalk the wheels. The trailer must remain hitched to the tow vehicle while unloading or loading the unit. Next, remove the tie-down straps. Before starting the unit, check that all function controls are operating freely and return to neutral when released. If the outside temperature is below 32 degrees Fahrenheit, warm the hydraulic oil in accordance with the manual before operating this unit. Before removing the unit from the trailer, Verify the track two-speed switch is in the off position if driving the unit from the pendant controls, or the track digger shift is in low if driving the unit from the radio controls. Prepare the unit for unloading by removing the straps that secure the unit to the trailer. Unload the unit from the trailer using the slowest engine RPM practical. Keep in mind, the trailer must remain hitched to the tow vehicle while unloading or loading the unit. Check visual and audible safety devices for proper operation. 
Locate the tilt sensor pin on the front curbside corner of the pedestal. Press the ball lock release button on the pin handle and remove the pin. Allow the tilt sensor and bracket to rotate down until the tilt alarm sounds. Re-level the tilt sensor by aligning the holes in the bracket and on the pedestal and reinsert the pin. Plan your route of travel to avoid excessive slopes. Use the slope indicators during travel to keep the unit within allowable limits. When driving off-road, be sure to walk the intended path before driving to ensure the path is clear of obstructions, drop-offs, soft ground, and excessive slopes. The track drive controls can be operated from the pendant or radio controls. To drive the unit, ensure the selector switch at the lower controls is in the drive outrigger position. If operating from the pendant controls, ensure the enable button on the side of the pendant is activated. The unit should only be operated in areas where the side to side or front to back slope is not greater than 15 degrees with tracks in fully extended position. Soft ground conditions could affect the incline. Extend the tracks before operating the ground drive controls except as needed to access restricted spaces. The tracks may only be retracted for access through restricted spaces only if the ground does not exceed a 5 degree slope side to side. This unit is equipped with travel tilt sensor alarms for front to back and side to side operation. When the audible alarm sounds, proceed with caution and return the unit to a stable operating condition. Move the track slowly and avoid sudden and jerky movements. Consider lowering the outriggers close to the ground on the downhill side to prevent rollover in case of instability. These limits apply to all operations to include loading and unloading. The travel tilt sensor alarm is intended as a safety aid only and may not activate for all unstable operating conditions. All personnel should stand clear of the downhill side of the unit when traveling on a slope. Prior to testing the controls, Ensure all objects and personnel are clear of moving parts. Before setting the outriggers, test boom interlock system by placing the control selector switch to the lower tools position. Then, move the lower boom control to the raise position. If boom movement occurs, the interlock system is not functioning properly. To set the outriggers, move the control selector switch to the outrigger position. Step to the side of the unit and make sure no personnel or obstacles are in the way. Then, set your outriggers. The unit is equipped with four hydraulic outriggers. Each outrigger has its own control switch. Operating the switch will either lower or raise the outrigger leg, depending upon which direction you move the switch. As each outrigger is being lowered or raised, an alarm will sound to alert any personnel in the area that the outriggers are in motion. The outriggers can be lowered for additional clearance height when traveling. To accomplish this, lower the outrigger leg until it is horizontal. Remove the pin and manually retract the leg to the inner pinning position. Install the pin and repeat for each outrigger leg. Auxiliary outrigger pads and or cribbing may be needed in certain situations, such as unpaved surfaces, asphalt surfaces, or soft terrain.